Introducing the Statlock Foley Stabilization Device, designed for the stabilization of indwelling urinary catheters. Traditional habit-based methods of Foley catheter securement have limitations that may lead to accidental dislodgement, urethral irritation, pain, urethral trauma, and inflammation. In fact, CDC guidelines state Indwelling catheters should be properly secured after insertion to prevent movement and urethral traction. The Statlock Foley Stabilization Device is specifically designed to secure Foley catheters in order to minimize movement and maximize patient outcomes by alleviating urethral irritation. So watch and listen closely. The few minutes you spend now will allow you to become Statlock device proficient. There are three versions of the Statlock Foley Stabilization Device. Adult and Pediatric Two-Way, or bifurcated, both for standard latex Foley catheters and for silicone catheters, sizes 6 to 26 French. And a Statlock Foley Stabilization Device for adult three-way, or trifurcated catheters. Applying the Statlock Foley Stabilization Device is as simple as Press, prep, place, and peel. First, have the patient extend the hip fully. Failure to do so will result in undue traction on the catheter. To avoid exerting undue pressure on the patient's skin, always press the Foley catheter into the Statlock device retainer before applying the anchor pad. To accomplish this, press the Foley catheter bifurcation into the Statlock device retainer and close the lid by pressing on the grip markers at the far edge, not in the center, being careful to avoid pinching the catheter. The directional arrow should point toward the catheter tip. Then, identify the proper securement site by gently laying the Statlock device straight on the front of the thigh, then back up one inch toward the insertion site. Make sure the leg is fully extended. Be sure to place the Statlock device so that there is only one inch of slack in the catheter between the insertion site and the Statlock device retainer. Too much slack will allow the catheter to over-rotate and cause kinking. Proper skin preparation is essential to the success of the Statlock Foley Stabilization Device. So first, be sure to cover an area larger than the actual targeted securement site and use three to four alcohol pads to cleanse and degrease the skin, removing any lotions or oils if present. Allow to dry completely. Second, and very important for skin protection and maximal adherence, apply both skin protectant pads to the targeted area and again be sure to cover an area larger than the actual targeted securement site. Allow it to dry completely for 10 to 15 seconds until smooth to the touch and not tacky. Remember, alcohol first, skin protectant, and allow each to dry completely. Then, using a permanent marker, write your initials and the date of application on the one-inch line printed on the Statlock device anchor pad. You can do this while you are waiting for the skin protectant to dry. Once you confirm again that there is only one inch of slack between the insertion site and the Statlock device retainer, carefully peel away the paper backing from the Statlock device anchor pad, one side at a time, and place tension-free 
on dry, prepared skin. Press, prep, place, and peel. Statlock device safety, security, and savings are now yours. Daily maintenance of the Statlock stabilization device is important. The Statlock stabilization device should be assessed daily and changed when clinically indicated, at least every seven days. If the pad becomes soiled, wash with soap and water, saline or hydrogen peroxide. Do not use alcohol or prepackaged bathing systems, which could lead to early lifting. If showering or bathing, cover with plastic wrap or a waterproof dressing. Conduct skin assessment prior to application and repeat daily per facility protocol. Use clinical judgment on the removal of the Statlock device if the patient experiences any fluid shifts that may interfere with skin integrity. Remember these five important points for daily maintenance. 